Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at how to set up a series of randomized triggers. Now what those do is they give you the option of a radio item and once you trigger this radio item it's gonna um, lead to something random happening of course something random you set up out of a list of random things. And now this can for example be set up in order uh, to spice up a mission uh, by you know bringing in some variables or just by giving the player a bench of tasks and picking at random from that list of tasks. Now the important thing in this kind of trigger setup is that you can trigger it again and again and you always get another random item from a predefined list. Now what I've set up here is just an A10 on the parking spot and in front of it three Humvees uh, which are all on late activation. Now what I want to do is I'm going to create a radio item and when I call that radio item I want one of the Humvees to spawn in at random. First step is going to triggers and setting up a new trigger which is going to be the one that actually gives us the radio item itself. I usually have a bunch of stuff that's being initiated by the player just spawning in so the condition is going to be that the player group is alive. But the text is going to be just what the player uh, clicks in the F10 menu when he wants to trigger the radio action and uh, the flag below it is what's going to happen once he activates it. So in this case with every press of the F10 radio item flag 1 is going to be set to 1. Now for the actual randomizer it's important that we set it as a continuous action because we don't only want to trigger it once and it be gone, we want to be able to trigger it again and again. The condition is of course going to be that the flag 1 is 1 just like what our radio item sets it to. And now we can finally put in the action uh, that we want to build everything around, that's a flag set random value. Now of course uh, we want to modify a different flag than the one that actually triggered this, so we're now going to use the next flag 2 and we don't want 1 to 100, we want 3 values since we have 3 Humvees right there in front of us, so we're going to use uh, 10 till 12. And this means it's going to set the flag 2 to a random value between the min and the max every time we trigger it. Now the next thing we need is, since it's a continuous action, it would just trigger it over and over, so we need to stop it from triggering over and over, uh, and therefore we're going to put in um, an increase of the flag 1, so we're going to put in set flag 1 to 2. So what's going on here is um, the whole thing triggers because the flag 1 is set to 1, then it picks a random value of flag 2, and then it's going to set the flag 1 to 2, and going to go back to the condition, flag 1 is not 1 anymore, but 2, and therefore it doesn't trigger again. Until, of course, we hit the radio item again and set the flag 1 back to 1. Okay, so now we get our random values, um, but we still need to tell the system what those random values are supposed to do. So now we're going to set up three triggers for three Humvees. If the first value, flag 2, is 10, then the first Humvee is going to trigger. If it, the flag 2 is 11, the second one, and if flag 2 is 12, the third one. Alright, all set up time to hop in the plane and see how it actually works. Now of course you have a hundred flags with a hundred options each so you can set up a bunch of those trigger chains instead of just one and for example give the player an option to choose from several lists with random tasks. Okay here we are and going to the F10 menu we can trigger our radio item and there one of the Humvees triggers and then we trigger it again and another one of them triggers and trigger them again and nothing happens so that can happen if just sets it to a random value and if that's a random value that has already been used then uh, nothing's happening so the further you deplete your list uh, the more often you have to actually activate the radio menu to um, get a result so I hope you found this helpful and interesting till next time